you had two Indian engineers that were at a bar and you had a Navy veteran walk in that obviously is a Trump supporter because when he walked in, he told them to go back to their country, accused them of being Iranian and then started to shoot up the place. And when he shot up the place, you had a white gentleman stepped in and tried to put a stop to it. He ended up getting shot as well. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Hi, my mom. Um, I need to report something. That caller, a bartender at the Zappleby's in Clinton, Missouri. He told me that he had done something really bad and he was on the run from the police. The guy, 51-year-old Navy veteran Adam Wade Puritan. He said like that he shot and killed two Iranian people in Olathe and I looked it up on the news and there was a shooting like three hours ago. Prosecutors say Puritan is the sole gunman in Wednesday's shooting at Austin's Bar and Grill. Garrett Bonin came face to face with Puritan. And he kind of was keeping himself when I got when I was there at least. And from what I heard, he was to himself to a point. But witnesses say Puritan began to direct racial slurs at Srinivas Kuchibatla and Aluk Madasani. Then Ian Grillet stepped in. Ian stood up for them while he was saying the racial slurs initially. And then the server got a manager and they got kicked and the dude got kicked out for saying those things because that's not what we don't condone that at all. Law enforcement say Puritan came back, shot the three men and took off across the state line. He like made me promise I wouldn't call the police, but there's people in the building and I'm afraid he's going to freak out if he sees the cops. But when Clinton, Missouri police showed up. Okay, they're at the side door. Can you go let them in? Puritan gave himself up without a fight. Laying on the ground outside of the bar, um, fighting for my life at that, t at that point. So I didn't really get to see too much of the the support that everybody uh, was giving each other, but it's Kansas is not a hateful place. Olathe is not a hateful place. It's a very passionate place. We love everybody here. Doctors here at the University of Kansas Hospital say Grillet is recovering well, and he could go home to Olathe in a couple of days. Purington wearing an anti-suicide smock when in front of the judge, accused of killing 32-year-old Srinivas Kuchibatla and wounding Aluk Madasani and Ian Grillet. The suspect's name is Adam, and he's a white male wearing a white shirt with military Medals. Prosecutors say he shot the three men in the patio of Austin's Bar and Grill Wednesday before fleeing across the state line to this Applebee's in Clinton, Missouri, where he asked the bartender to help him hide. She called 911. I finally got him to tell me, and he said like, that he shot and killed two Iranian people in Olathe. And you are Mr. Puritan, is that correct? Yes, sir. The former Navy veteran didn't say much during his hearing except for this. Do you have the resources to hire your own attorney or are you asking the court to appoint counsel for you? I'm asking the uh, court to appoint counsel for me. Meanwhile, Kucha Butla's body has arrived in his hometown of Hyderabad, India. It's been it's been definitely something that is definitely overwhelming for both uh, you know, Srinivas' family and uh, my family for sure. This killing has caused such an uproar all over the world. Dinesh Kanzal moved to Olathe a year and a half ago and plans to follow this case closely. I just wanted to get an idea of what kind of person is he who would do something like this. It's absolutely heinous thing to do. Now, there's one more clip I want to show you. Now, this clip is a Donald Trump surrogate. And this surrogate is going to be questioned by one of the reporters on CNN, but why Trump say everything about Islamic terrorism, but never say anything about white male racialized terrorism in this country. Let's go roll that clip. Uh, he, he is constantly condemning these acts of violence and he's constantly denouncing them. Well, hold I on think, a second. I think, hold on. I just want, I okay. just want to fact check that. Okay, sure. He's not constantly mm -hmm. condemning them. There was well, here, silence the after Kansas City. But here's he the problem, He did Alice. tweet about it. And some people felt that that's, it, had it been a Muslim, and, had it been a Middle Eastern gunman instead of a white gunman, that he would have immediately condemned it, but he didn't. Okay, and those, those people are obviously entitled to their opinion, but there's a very delicate balance now. I think what the president has discovered, he, he's controlling the bully pulpit and the news cycle. 
Uh, and he doesn't want to overly, uh, you know, bring this stuff up because sometimes you're worried that that in itself will c cause a fire or a potential contagion. But then so why does you're he... trying to strike the right balance? You, uh, you can agree with me or disagree with me, but I, I, I do believe that the president has consistently and maybe not with the level of volume that you'd like him to, but he has consistently and his administration has consistently denounced these acts of violence. But then why does he immediately bring up something even in Europe? When there's an, an Islamist attack or something that he sees as Islamic terrorism, he is on Twitter right away. Why, why not use that same rule of thumb for well, when there's a white gunman okay, here that does terror? Okay, so, so, I mean, again, we can parse the words. We can, we, we can, but these we are can, facts. I have the dates for you. I mean, Al, the, Al, how quickly he Al, does it. Allison, we all agree on the same thing, okay? Whether it's an Islamic act of terrorism or it's a, some kind of anti-Semitic act, they should be denounced. We're now parsing the volume and the quantity of those denouncements. The rapidity. So I, we're, 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 okay, what so, we're parsing so, okay. is why he doesn't so do it I as think, quickly okay, when so I think that, I think white that's, I think that's unfair, okay? And we can go through, we can go through each and every uh, set of circumstances yeah. And we could we could make a decision on when he's doing it and you, when you think it's appropriate I just want to know what, you and what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they're right. If this were a Arab person who did this or a black person or a illegal immigrant, Trump would be all on Twitter screaming, yelling and hollering. But when you have these white male racialized terrorist devils doing these acts constantly in this country, nothing is said. You had that other devil in Canada, went up to a mosque, shot that place up Dylan Roof style. Nothing is said, not even the word terrorist is being put on them. You notice the word terrorist is not for them. It's not for them. It's only for black, brown, and everywhere else. So I told you everything with these people is racialized. It's permeated everywhere. They look at skin as like a enemy combatant. That's how they look at it. This guy killing innocent people. That man didn't do him anything. That man was with his wife. They moved from a different city to that particular city they're in now. They built their dream home. They was trying to get set up where they could eventually start their family. And now you have that man lost, gone. A wife that is a widow now. And for what? Because this evil savage says to get out of my country and call them all kind of racial slurs. When last time I checked, he didn't have no immigration paperwork that was registered with the native American tribes on this land. Last time I checked, but yet he's saying, get out of my country. You see the influence of Donald Trump. That is his influence. Prior to him coming on the scene, you weren't hearing none of them acting a fool saying, get out of my country. Everything this guy says is based on racial lines and to divide people. Everybody's being divided by this guy. And if any of you Trump supporters get upset by that, don't watch my videos because you know what? It's the truth. That's how I feel about that situation with that guy. That guy is nothing but a hate monger and surrounding himself with people. That's a hate monger. And look at the results of his words. When you get in certain positions, you have to be careful what you say, especially when you have a group of people that you're speaking to that's very fragile and were looking to do some violence. All they need is your permission. And they feel they got permission from him to do that. Now, I want to see these executive orders that's going to ban white male racialized terrorism. I guarantee you we ain't going to see them executive orders. And as the CNN uh, person said, Trump be all on this stuff. It was Islamic. All on it. Every day, Chicago, this, Chicago, that. Yes, I know Chicago is an issue and a problem. I know that. But we never talk about the racialized terrorism here in this country. About white males. You don't have a bunch of people from the Islamic faith doing a bunch of stuff here. But they got to create an enemy. That's what they have to do. This guy is dangerous. That's why I tell people, register to vote. Get out, register to vote. In a primary, go vote. Is next year with the November 6th, the 9th, whatever day it is. Go out and vote in the primary. Because sitting at home is what got this situation where it's at now. 
And don't tell me no crap about voting don't count because if voting didn't count, then why is these Republicans trying to suppress your vote so much, black people? Why? If it didn't matter. Yes, your vote matter because they don't want you controlling anything in politics because they know that this country going to be more brown and black people and they're going to be in the minority around 2040. So they're trying to do everything they can to prevent that so they can maintain power in this nation. So get out there and at least get registered to vote and get these people out of there. We have too many white racialized terrorists that's running this country. And this stuff got to stop. One lady wrote me about my positions and my positions is simple. I'm for equality for all and justice for all. And right now we don't get equality and justice for all people. You only get equality and justice for one group of people. And until you have an equal system, you're going to constantly have problems. It's just that simple. And if you're not going to call out these white male racialized terrorists and they only call out the Islamic terrorists, you're going to have this stuff constantly being thrown in your face how you sit up there and not be equal. And we got to keep calling you out, period. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this sad story. Share the video, like the commentary, subscribe to my news stories.